Welcome back to the broadcast. Well, our next guest, Jeff Abbott, has been dubbed by the Associated Press as one of the, quote, best thriller writers in the business. And we are so pleased to have his New York Times best-selling author of 14 novels here to share his scoop on his latest book called Inside Man. Welcome. Thanks, Lisa. Thanks for having me it's here It's today. so great to talk to you. You are um, um, born and raised in Dallas, attended high school in Duncanville, uh -huh. living in Austin, working yes. in Austin now. Uh -huh. um, you know, during the break, you were telling me something that I think that our viewers will think is very interesting, that this book was chosen for for Oprah's Summer Reads? Yes, uh -huh. for O Magazine. The Oprah Magazine chose it as one of their compulsively readable thrillers, is what they called the list. I mean, that um, pretty much just says it all right there, <laughs> doesn't it? It was it was a thrill. It was a thrill for me to get on a I'll list like that was. because she, she helps move a lot of books. So um, it was exciting. Well, it probably it paled in comparison to being on the New York Times bestseller <laughs> list. I, I've been lucky. Uh, the, my books have been picked up for lists on Good Morning America, The Today Show. So um, I'm, I always feel lucky if anyone notices or pays attention, but it's nice when they do. You know what I think that means, Jeff? I think it means that your writing speaks to a general pop population of people. And you said yourself, you're an entertainer. I'm this an is, entertainer. This is your form of, of entertainment. This isn't, um, you know, we talked about a lot of Oprah's books that are on her um, book list are very, you know, artsy kind of books. They've got like some deep message. And this is just like, if you want to be entertained, you want a good read. This is a good book to take to the beach or the pool. <laughs> That's so tell, tell us the premise of Inside Man. Uh, Inside Man is the fourth novel in my Sam Capra series. He's a former CIA agent who owns bars all around the world. So every book is set in a different city around the world. And in Inside Man, he, a friend of his is killed outside his Miami bar. And he uh, figures out that a prominent family uh, is involved, could be involved in this murder. So he goes undercover into the family to try to find who the murderer was and uh, you putting his spy skills to the test and of course everything goes wrong <laughs> when he uh, goes undercover into this family. Is there, um, is there a bit of humor anywhere in the book? Uh, there's some humor in, in it, it, the humor and the suspense can go kind of together because uh, uh, there's a member of the family who is sort of helping him, uh, this young woman named Cordelia, and they're having to review the whole family history when he's going undercover, and it's sort of like meet the family, uh -huh. but if you make a mistake, they may kill you. Right. Uh, so um, uh, there's a little bit of humor in it from that. And just a little bit of romance? A little bit of romance as well, uh, and a lot of action, and a lot of suspense. How do these stories start in your head? I usually try to think, what is the biggest problem I can give Sam that will interest <laughs> me for 400 pages and interest a reader for 400 pages? And I thought it would be interesting to put him undercover into a family. We all have to kind of play roles in our family sometimes, sure, yeah. the peacemaker, the troublemaker, the one who gets blamed for everything, the one who never gets blamed for anything. <laughs> and I thought it would be fun to put him into a family that is a very, very dangerous family in a very volatile situation. Um, and uh, see what he'll do. Because I don't always know what he'll do until I, I put him on the stage and he starts doing it. Because that'll keep me interested, I hope that will keep the reader interested. And that's the way it works in a creative mind, isn't it? Where you know your character inside and out, backwards and forwards, but until he's faced with something, then the words just start coming out, right? Yeah, usually when the, the drama kicks up to that higher level, the words are just flowing out of me as fast as I can type them. Uh, usually the creative mind, first you're kind of panicking, is like, is this idea going to work? And then right. you, you put it on the stage and you start seeing that it will. And then when you have that aha moment where you're like, oh, this is perfect, it flows perfectly with that other story that I had going and you're weaving them all together in one book. There is a giant twist about halfway through this book that I didn't plan when I started writing the book. And it was just, I felt like fingers close around my throat. <laughs> I figured it was my imagination saying, this is the moment that, that is, is going to shock readers. But it just works the, so well. And take the book in a new direction. Yeah, I hope it works. Now, yeah. I noticed you're wearing a wedding ring. So yes. does your wife, is she... Um, understanding of what oh, it takes very. to be married to a writer? Very. She's a photographer, so she's also very creative, and we both work out of the house. Our offices are on different sides of the house. She's a huge uh, help to me in researching the book. She'll go with me to the cities where the books are set and and take me around so I can focus on getting the research done, and we have uh, we have a great time working on that together. It's like the perfect partnership. It is. It is a perfect That's partnership. That's good, and this is the perfect summer read. Thank you so much for being here and talking about it with Thank us. Thank you so much for having me today, Lisa.
Melissa. Um, you can pick up your copy of Jeff Abbott's latest book, Inside Man, online or at your nearest bookstore. It's everywhere. Coming up next on the broadcast, the O's are back. We'll catch up with one of our favorite local bands. Don't go anywhere.